What is going on everybody? My name is Jacob Forster and welcome to Para Eyes. This is a brand new observation duty type game that is in, I guess, early access on Steam. Um, I think they have a couple maps so far, but they plan on having, I think, somewhere around seven to eight. But this is a little bit different than normal observation duty games. Let's go ahead and read the how to play section. So the goal, flip through security cameras, report anomalies, and keep your sanity. Scanning and reporting. To report an anomaly, simply right click where the anomaly is or was. Scanning will take a few seconds. Report back if you correctly found an anomaly. Sanity. You start with the game with 100 sanity. While anomalies are active, you lose sanity. Interesting. So let's go ahead and hit play. Um, I guess we start off on easy. Grandma's house, school, and the island. Okay, so these are the three that we have so far. So we'll uh, start with easy. Inventory. Anomaly packs. Interesting. So yeah, you can buy stuff with currency. Let's just start, see how it goes. <laughs> Good luck. Loading cameras. 43 anomalies, four cameras. Good luck. Grandma's house. Okay, so it's 10.01, 10.02. We got our sanity. And uh, it seems that just the right click is all you do. You don't need to report any type of anomalies. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna be like. <laughs> also, I'm uh, not been feeling great if you could hear it in my voice. So, um, doing my best to get through this. This might be a short video, <laughs> but I did want to check this out since it just uh, released here on Steam today as of recording this. There's like way too much going on in here though. A lot of shadows, that's pretty cool. I like the uh, high quality environments of this game. We got a Luigi board. <laughs> got a toaster. Uh, okay, okay. These are all brand new environments and every time I play one of these games, I have to like, really focus and really get down like what's going on. I'm assuming nothing actually pops up until 10.30. Okay, there we go, let's scan it. Anomaly reported. Ah, fireplace art, cool. All right, very interesting. So when do we have to go till? Because it started at 10 o'clock. Uh, does it only go to like four or does it still go to six? I guess we'll find out. Um, like what happens if I scan something and it's not true? There were no anomaly found. So you still don't get uh, sanity lost. So it'll be interesting to see kind of what options we have as we keep going through. Anomaly dust used for researching. Interesting. Very interesting. Is that R2-D2? <laughs> A bowl version of R2-D2? Okay, no, no anomalies. All right, um, hmm. Okay, so we'll start off in the dining room. So we have the board, two plates, and fork and knife. One plate is really dirty, so that's pretty easy to see. You've got all the chairs here, tablecloth, um, three boxes. I'm just gonna scan it just in case it wasn't open. Okay, uh, we have these two guys here. I'm just gonna start scanning stuff just to verify that it should be there. Um, the art is there, we're not losing sanity, and it looks like everything else is fine here. This is going clockwise at the moment. I doubt it's gonna go counterclockwise at all. Okay, so no errors here. So if we come in here, were both of these hanging up? I do not know. All right, we've got a rusty pan on the stove. Uh, we've got a big old pot, cutting board. The bowl is on top of the drying rag, trash can, old school toaster. We've got our little welcome mat. Okay. Um, they're letting the hawk go. It's a cool little little picture in here. What do we have? What is here for us? This mirror looks a little suspicious. Okay, nothing. If we keep looking around though. I wanna see if anything kind of stands out first, first and foremost. What was that? Sound like something fell. Something fall over? That wasn't open before. Haha, <laughs> kitchen drawer. Cool. Okay, so that's good. I'm assuming there might be something in the reflection of this window? Or this glass door? It's not like something fell in here though. Oh! Oh look, it's moving! It's rotating! <laughs> Let's get it. That's cool. Not only reported artwork. Sweet. So if we keep looking through, we can see a few things just kind of floating around. Doing our best. It's 12 o'clock, we've already gone two hours into it. No open doors or drawers or anything of that nature. Nothing seems, seems to be outside. 
a painting here. Got a big hole in the wall. I uh, have nothing here. This this room seems to be pretty standard, I would assume. Got our little light in the kitchen. Let me try reporting something over here. My sanity's down by 10%. Okay, that's not good. Uh, let's keep looking around. Were these red always? No, nothing there. Okay. Uh, huh. Scan that. <laughs> the glass looks a little crappy. Huh. Got a little artist's corner over here. It's kind of cool. Something just fell over again. Or was that my sanity going down? I think that's my sanity going down, actually. That little boof boof noise. Was it always a ship above the fireplace? Yeah, I guess it was. Okay. Is this hallway always so dark and foreboding? <laughs> I guess it was. Nothing seemed to be different here. Got all the chairs, got the table. Got our boxes. Hmm. What am I missing? Oh, was that bigger? Yeah, kitchen rug. Okay, there we go. Cool. Okay, rug is done. Easy peasy. We have a little treasure map over here. <laughs> Darn. No animali found. Is there a rug here in the middle? I don't remember. Okay, this is this is the this is the trial and error run. Getting through, trying to figure it out. See, it's extra bright outside. I don't know if that's the case either. No, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, got it, got it. Oh, my sanity just dropped again. What is going on? Okay, let's keep looking. We gotta find something. I feel like these boxes moved. No? Okay, I thought this one was a little bit more off to the right, but I guess not. Um, all right, we got this. We got this. We'll see if, oh, okay, you're on the floor. That should be there. We'll see if my own personal sanity makes it through this recording before the sanity of the game falls out of favor. So did I, did I just get a sanity back for that? I don't actually know. Hmm. I guess I'll keep an eye out. So it's 70% right now. Everything looks okay here. Is there something missing on this table? No, nothing. Daily news. Nothing there, okay. All the chairs, plates, the board, boxes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, cutting board, got it. Spino mode. All right, yeah, so Sanity's at the same amount. <gasps> okay, just dropped that. means that something else is in the house. Some other animali has appeared. But where, but where? Let's look around. Hmm. Clockwise for that fan as well. Is this smaller? I feel like that's a pretty small little coffee table. Oh, <gasps> it was! Oh, cool. Nice. All right, we're getting it. We're getting through this. Easy peasy. Okay, still got this stuff over here. Bowl is on the drying towel. Got a few things over here. I'm going to report this. This looks like it might be different. No? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's going to be just fine. Um, hmm. fan spinning, fan spinning, random stuff over here, we got seven anomaly dust, <laughs> I think that's our currency for the game, like you can actually use that to spend to get some of the uh, anomaly packs, which is a cool concept, um, allows you to, oh you're down there again, allows you to get more anomalies into the game, so I, I, I did browse through it very briefly, oops, didn't mean to scan that, um, and you can do things like an arachnophobia pack, so it adds spider anomalies, uh, as well as Halloween anomalies, which is cool. So that'll be fun to kind of play around with and see what's what's going on in here. Um, hoping to get some cool things going on with this game as it is obviously having a lot more involved with it in terms of like the difficulty levels, how many anomalies you can get per room. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Newspaper, come back. Thank you. And then obviously the fact that they're hoping to get a lot more maps for the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, where this again? I thought there was something on it, but I don't think there is. No, no, definitely not. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. The plates. Fork and knife. Mm, nothing else seems to be different in this room. This is 
This is the one room that I really haven't seen anything happen in. Just concerning. Just a little bit concerning. But if we put our focus in, we should be able to solve this. Solve this mystery. Hmm. I'm just going to report this again. No, nothing. Chairs don't look like they've changed sizes or moved at all. Nothing's open here. You know, let me report these again. No, no color change or anything. Box is still open. This one's slightly out front. That one's off to the left. Do the door in case the door's changed size, color. No. And I don't think anything has changed in here, but let me just check. Got a candelabra and plates. No, nothing at all. Okay. Well, it's worth taking a look. See if there's anything I had happened to miss. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm worried. <laughs> um, it said that there were, what, 40-some anomalies that were added into this? But I guess if it's easy mode, that means it won't necessarily put as many of them in at the same time. Oh, my sanity just dropped again. Crap. Crap. What happened this time? Let's go report that. Nothing. All right. Um. Oh, you moved. You were over here. Yeah, get back there, plant. Cool. Uh, let's see. I'm still unsure about what the sanity thing actually does. Like, what makes it drop? Is it going through and not reporting the anom anomalies in time? Oh! Hello? I'm going to report you. Grandma. <laughs> Grandma, what are you doing? That was kind of cool. Um, interesting. Yeah, I feel like it's like if a certain amount of anomalies are active at the same time, that's when your sanity starts to drop. Because it wouldn't make sense for, like, an anomaly appears and your sanity goes down. Because then that would just be unfair. Um, we'll have to kind of test things as we go along trying out this game and kind of seeing what's what's available. Um, hmm. Hmm. I think easy mode is too easy. Because <laughs> I think it's got to be 6 o'clock. Six o'clock has got to be the winner. Um, and I feel like even if we don't do anything here, we're going to get through and still have plenty of sanity by the time we hit six o'clock. Again, I don't know if that's the actual time, but that's my guess currently. Huh. I feel like this light wasn't so bright before. No, nothing there. Okay. I'm missing books up in here. No? Did they move from up there? No? Still absolutely nothing in this room. <laughs> Which, hey, makes it easier for me. It's a pretty simple room to keep your eyes on. <gasps> ah, we're missing our mug! I don't know, where'd the mug go? Yeah, there it is. Okay, coffee cup. Cool. Sanity dropped, unfortunately. Oh, Grandma! I see you there! <laughs> Grandma, no! She's just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> love it, love it. <laughs> grandma, what are you doing, Grandma? <laughs> okay, interesting, interesting. What if I report the, the board? No, okay, nothing. <laughs> it's fine. I'm okay with that, to be honest. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> I'm seeing nothing. <laughs> Um, about to hit five. Is five the winner? No, five is definitely not the winner. Is it six o'clock? How do we know? How do we know? That's quite a long time. From ten to six? That is a long time. If that's what it really is. Uh, I haven't seen much happen in this room, to be honest, other than the grandma appearing. It's really this room. Yeah, this is the main room where stuff tends to change and to happen a lot. So otherwise, there's not much going on. All the shadows casting. It's really cool. I like the lighting effect, though. It is very nice. This looks way too small. It's too skinny. <laughs> I know we're fine, but it just looks off. Okay, rusty pan. Got all that stuff. Nothing seems to have changed on the little desk here. The dresser drawers. Pillow? No, what about this pillow? 
Is this missing a pillow? No? Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, these are still the same. The box is still the same. Picture with the fruit still there. Nothing's outside. Oh. <laughs> the whole environment. <laughs> Camera malfunction. Weird. Okay, that's kind of cool. That was a very obvious one. Um, hmm. Okay, what do we got? We're almost at 6 o'clock. Let's see if this will make us win. I got 14 anomaly dust. Give me the dust. Um, hmm. I think we got this in the bag. Unless it goes past 6 o'clock. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, my sandwich went down. Congratulations! Rewards! 14 anomaly dust. GG easy to been luck. Cool, you found 14 anomalies. Missed anomalies ceiling fan. Oh, did one of them switch its uh its position? Clockwise versus counterclockwise? Interesting. So yeah, if you go back to the main menu then you can shop and oh my gosh, it costs a hundred? Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. So yeah, the arachnophobia adds spider-related anomalies and happy Halloween pack adds candy anomalies. Report a candy and regain 10 sanity. Oh, interesting. That's kind of cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not feeling super great. <laughs> so this will be just my first little introduction to Para Eyes. Obviously, there's a lot more that's going to be difficult with this. That was easy mode. Um, oh, here we go. Cameras for... Oh, so there's even more cameras for the harder difficulties. Interesting. And there's a two times anomaly... Sp Spawn rate. Oh, that, that's actually pretty cool. And then we have the school, and then we have the island. There's a shuffle, shuffle mode, which is kind of cool. So we have easy, normal, hard, insane, insane plus, insane plus plus, insane plus plus plus. <laughs> that's, that's wild. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll have a lot of fun playing through this game. Um, hopefully I've got enough energy and not feeling awful to <laughs> jump back into this very soon. Um, in the meantime, to be uh, like very honest, you guys are probably going to see me upload some more Elden Ring content because that's already pre-recorded from a while ago. Um, I'm very excited for Resident Evil Village DLC coming out. So that's like a big thing that I'm hoping to uh, jump into as well, especially for Halloween coming up. Um, love getting back into any Resident Evil stuff and the fact that the DLC is coming out. Uh, I think this at the end of this week. Very, very excited for it. Uh, but Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later.